Hey guys, I've got a quick review of Kaizen Foam and using it for tool storage organization. Uh, I use this with a Milwaukee Packout uh, for storing my Bosch FlexiClick and all its accessories. Uh, I'm going to go over what I think about the foam uh, and some quick tips on how to cut it. Alright, so the reason I decided to go with this Packout case with Kaizen Foam for storing my FlexiClick system is I really don't like the soft cases with elastic loops and Velcro. It just takes too much time to get tools in and out of them. Uh, I'd rather just grab and go rather than having to do this whole thing every time I wanted this uh, drill out as well as the accessories. This also didn't have bungees for every accessory that came with the FlexiClick so you had stuff loose in this case. So I think using the Kaizen foam and a Milwaukee Packout gives me a lot more ease of access for all of these and better organization and security for these tools. Alright, so a few things you'll definitely need for working with Kaizen Foam. The long nose marker uh, to get around the corners. I, I was going to try using a Sharpie and once I tried starting to do that I realized I, I definitely wanted one of these. A uh, razor knife or a snap blade knife that you can extend the full depth of the foam. Uh, that's important. You can't get away with a box cutter because you can't get it far enough in to the foam to cut the full depth. Uh, these are three bucks on the Kaizen website. Uh, definitely worth it you don't have a 10 millimeter snap blade knife. So one thing I'd recommend for cutting this, uh, when you do the outline of this, um, make sure when you cut the first time, uh, cut inside the lines that you make and then try fitting your tool in. And if it doesn't fit, you can shave a little bit off around the perimeter. But if you cut it too big, uh, you can't really go back from that. So be conservative to start with uh, and then make sure the tool fits. And if it doesn't, shave a little bit more off. When you are peeling the foam out, uh, it's, it's really important to dig your fingers down in and then use your fingers to scrape the bottom. Don't just try to peel it uh, from the top. You got to get your fingers in and scoop them along the bottom here. Um, and one of the other things is the, the bottom will probably not turn out perfectly flat. Um, still got some little pieces coming off there. Um, but it, it's flat enough, especially since you're putting your tools in on top of it, you're not going to see a little bit of roughness and unevenness on the bottom. So this was my first try cutting Kaizen foam at all, so that, that whole shot you saw in the video, first try I've ever done this. Uh, and I was able to do fairly complicated shapes, uh, like the contours of this. This has three different levels in it, uh, as well as two finger pull holes, and it fits perfectly in there. So um, it's very easy, there's almost no learning curve at all. Um, after the first cut around this one, I was, I was pretty confident in my capabilities to do the rest of these uh, without a lot of planning. Plus, I've still got some leftover room up here if I want to put some bits or something else in there. So I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out for a first try. Some mistakes I did make though um, with this uh, and the battery over here. I cut these holes too big and the, the mistake I made with this one is I didn't make it tapered. Um, so it's only the very top that's holding that in. Um, and then with this one, I, I cut for the base when really I wanted to put it in upside down with the smaller portion um, and it doesn't quite really grab onto it. So I've got to put it on this way. Uh, it's a little bit loose still, you can see. So I would recommend when you're cutting these, be conservative, cut smaller, cut inside the lines that you made. And if you need to make it bigger, it's pretty easy to uh, just shave a little bit off the edge uh, and make the cutout a little bit bigger rather than you know cutting it too big to start with which is irreversible. Now with the pack out I didn't know what I'd want so I ended up I, I bought enough to fill to the top uh, this was five dollars this was twelve dollars um, if I did it again I probably wouldn't buy this five dollar one because I put everything in here and got it all laid out and decided no I don't want the foam all the way to the top so this is I think it's two and a quarters uh, and this is seven eighths inch thick um, so I'd go with just the one thicker sheet um, if you're doing a pack out case um, unless you've got some really small stuff that you just want all the way up at the top. One thing to know in the website, the Kaizen website does cover this, if you've got a clear topped case like this, so like the Milwaukee pack outs, don't leave this out in the sun because it'll have the greenhouse effect. It can actually melt the foam inside. So if you uh, work outside a whole bunch, make sure you keep these out of the sun. All right, so overall, uh, $12 for the thicker, I think two and a quarter inch foam. Uh, this stuff, the thinner sheets, seven eighths inch or five bucks. Uh, I think they're worth it for the level of organization you get out of these, uh, especially if they speed up your workflow if you're a professional.
I'm definitely happy with the way this turned out, especially on a first try. Uh, I think if I do any more Kaizen foam inserts in the future, it'll go a lot faster and it'll be a lot easier and I'll get better results. So hopefully this review was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.